Hi, warm welcome. My name is Dan, Dan Klein, Product Specialist for Focusrite Innovation and Adam Audio. Today we are having a look on the new Scarlet Force Gen. Uh, one and a half days ago we released the high I.O. interfaces that you can see here from the Ford, uh, Force Gen series to 18i20, 18i16, 16i16, the 2i2, the 4i4 and the solo we released before. So I will talk in general about it. We have a little exception with the solo. I will uh, talk in general about the Sari uh, when we are talking about 2i2 up to 18i20. There are lots of news happening in this new Sari. So number one is we have new um, MIG preamps over here. They are completely new design. Really high, high dynamic range, 60 up to 63 dB preamping. We have Entlos and Kohler, and this have a reason I will talk in a while about. Um, we have on top new ADDA converters in. Not everybody, but some people will know what is RedNet and Red, uh, the Red Zeri from us. It's our highest audio interfaces we have. We have now the ADDA converters in the Scarlet Force Gen which makes a really, really big difference together with the mic breeze we have in here. The 63 dB are uh, around 10 dB more. So people who have uh, quiet uh, uh, microphones with small output like SM7B or something like that will be happy because it worked completely now with the fourth gen over here. One thing more we have here is we have new uh, headphone amps. More power on the output, less noise. Uh, which is really, really good because there were some complaints from people uh, a matter what impedance the headphones had. Uh, this should not be a problem anymore because of the more power and less noise we have over here. There are really nice functions besides the new design, which I really, really like. It's a, a wonderful build quality, but we have a new design over here. But we have really, really nice functions. You will have these functions on the hardware itself but in the Focusrite Control 2 software too. So number one I point on here is auto. Auto means auto gain. What will happen? You choose a channel. Now we have selected channel one. You see it's uh, green lighting over here. If I press auto, it will count down 10 seconds. No matter if I sing in my microphone or play a guitar or a bass, it will put the exact preamping, the gain, um, the gain for this channel. This helps a lot when you are under, working under time pressure or you are a newbie, you start recording, it will really, really help you a lot. It even can help you when you are a quartet or a band because you can do it on multiple channels at the same time. So many people can play at the same time and you get really the preamping structure, the gaining structure for every instrument, for every signal in there. What, we el what else we have here, we can have a short look, it's a safe mode. The safe mode is, in a, especially in a live situation, for example, really, really helpful because we can now, I told in the beginning, these are endless encoders now, opposite to search, and, and all the preamps are digitally controllable now. In the moment we press save and we get more loud in the recording session we are doing or in a live situation, in the moment we have a clipping sample in our recording, it will put down the gaining structure, the, uh, the uh, pre-gaining of our um, a mic priest we have here or our instrument. It will lower the gain and we are safe and the track is safe uh, and we not lose it completely. Another thing which is new over here is we have air mode. Some of you maybe will know it because that we had in the third generation too, but in fourth generation we have a second air mode. In general for the ones who don't know it, air mode is like an emulation of our heritage mixing consoles that Focusrite were building. So what you get is, for example, when you are not so experienced with equalizers, compressors, limiters, if you press air mode on a vocal, it will get more in front because you get really nice high frequencies that sound like an emulation of a mixing desk. The drive and presence mode we added in the fourth gen, it's more, I would say, it's like a radio voice, ready voice you get. What will happen is you have a, a bit um, uh, uh, amping on the base, on the base side of things, in the middle where 
the most clutter and mud can happen, it will put a little curve down and on the high frequencies you will have what I explained for the present smoke before. This is really, really nice for people who are starting with it. But in general we can say maybe I can show a little bit from the back side. And you see here, the design is really minimal, modern and clear. Why I put it on the backside, a uh, simple reason. You can see the, the symmetrical outputs we have here, but on top, on the bigger ones uh, that we see here, we have 5-pin MIDI IOs, we have SPDIF digital stereo IOs, and we have 8-channel ADAT fiber optic IOs. Uh, when we need more channels, it's not a problem to connect here and get more channels. You see, overall, lots of lots of big news, I think, Enjoy, go in a store, check it out, let people explain, play guitar on or, or sing through a microphone, check it out yourself, have fun, see you.